Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Jacqueline and in today's video I will be doing a Will I Buy It series where we're going to talk about the new releases coming up in the beauty industry, if I will buy it or not, and my opinion. It's a very lighthearted video, but before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, ring that little bell so you can get notified when I upload new videos. And now if you want to know what's new and coming up in the beauty industry, just keep on watching. Okay, my friends, so today is Friday, May 10th, and it has been a little while since I was able to record a uh, Will I Buy It video. All of these Sephora sell going on, a lot of different reviews, it just got me distracted. But I said, you know what, let's just see what's new and what is coming up next, what brands are creating, let's just chat about it. The way that I will go over what are the new beauty releases, um, I'm just going to go to the Instagram page of Trend Mood. I may jump to Hot Fire Makeup. That's also a really good um, source of what is new or upcoming in this community. Also, I want to mention, very important, these type of videos was created by Samantha March. I will leave her link down below for her channel. I'm sure you know who she is. She's the one who created these amazing videos. And she's one of the sweetest persons ever. I have never met her, but I enjoy so much all her content on her channel. So I will suggest, you know, take a look at what she has now on her channel. She's She seems to be a super sweet and down-to-earth person. So anyhow, let's just get us started. The first item, it is by Dior. Dior is extending the family of the Dior backstage. Basically, he's, um, they are coming out with a face and body primer and that it will supposed to give you a radiant blur, instant plumping effect, mattifying and 24 hour hydration. All of those words are speaking to me. They are also coming out with a brand new glow and face palette and also a eyeshadow new amber neutrals uh, palette. So the cost of the face and body primer is going to be $36. The eyeshadow palette it's going to be $49 and the glow face palette is going to be $45. I did want to try this. I did try the Dior Backstay Foundation when it came out and I really didn't like it but maybe I got the wrong shade so I may I may get it and kind of review the whole thing for you. Let me know if you're interested. Okay so it seems like there was an early access but it will be back on June. That's kind of weird. Um, and then all the rest, the face palette and the eyeshadow palette, they, it just says coming soon that they will keep us updated. Now on the eyeshadow palette, well, it's a neutral palette, but it has also some warm tones to it. It has some of um, red and it seems like a orangey or maybe coral shade. Um, I don't know. I'm not very interested. Another thing that I... Mm, dislike so much when such high-end brands they don't put a mirror it's like come on Dior put a mirror on your palette that would be great but I don't know the face palette it's it looks kind of nice um I don't know about that on the picture it looks a little bit greenish color one of the highlighters which is like kind of I don't know, I will have to swatch it, but I maybe get it and do kind of like an overall review of these backstage um, new items. So it's it's a maybe, it's a maybe there. You know, they are not proposing nothing new, and that's my thing. I mean, like, the face primary kind of like, you know, gets the attention because it's hydrating, glowing, um, you know, perfecting imperfections and, you know, like, um, blurring and all that stuff. Uh, but then the palette, mm, I don't know, maybe the face palette or I may do the whole thing and do a review of this whole line, but it's a pending, it's a maybe, maybe. So Juvia's Place was um, doing a sneak peek of a coral palette and it was actually just the name. So when Juvia's Place did this picture i thought wow that's so cool a coral palette perfect for summer you know kind of like um the sweet top palette by color pop so pretty i was looking for something that it was 
you know, it's kind of like not the same theme, but coral, maybe with some a little bit of yellow tones, champagne tones. I was just looking maybe for something a little bit more like summertime. And they just released the palette. Surprise, surprise, it is available now at Juvia's Place online. And it's the Nubia 3 Coral Eyeshadow Palette. It retails for $20 and it's a combination of cool and warm tones. It is proposing something new, but it's not really coral to me. I mean, it looks very orange in the palette, very, very warm tone. And then you have the three shades on the top. It looks like a silver, a slate color, and another pewter type of shimmer shade. And I don't, I don't know, it's just not very attractive. I don't know if it's maybe the package itself, you know, the background that it's in, or maybe just the idea that they are going to come out with something that it was actually coral, but this looks very, very orange, very intense. Um, it will be coming up uh, to Ulta Beauty, and I think I will hold off on this palette. It's nothing that I feel like I'd urge to get it. You know, it's a little bit of a letdown because I thought it was going to be a coral palette. Okay, well, that's that's a no. Now, for a palette that I'm excited for, it is the Secret Palette by Nabla. They just revealed it. Um, honestly, when I saw, saw the picture of the eyeshadow pens, I wasn't very like, whoa, to it. I mean, I was like, oh, this is fairly interesting. It will be available on May 22nd at their website, Nabla Cosmetics. And the retail value, I don't think it says it right now, but then when I, the outer package just looks so, so beautiful. And this time is very cohesive with what it is on the inside. Um, the colors are more cohesive. I think they had a poison palette and I don't know, the colors, they were not really poisonous. <laughs> But this time, I think it's just so pretty, this palette. I will put the picture of the swatches. So the swatches are the thing that actually sold me for. I mean, that red shimmer, then that pinky coral tone right there, the teals. There's a very light aqua color too in there that looks so, so beautiful. Then it seems like there's a dual tone and there's also a black tone. Um, pricing, it doesn't say the pricing yet. Um, so we'll see, but I'm actually very interested about that Nabla Secret Palette, and I haven't tried any products from Nabla. So let me know, have you tried anything from Nabla before? You know, because it will be interesting, maybe when I place my order, I can order other things from Nabla, if they have like complexion products, etc. Is there something good, something that you have tried that it's, it's really nice, but I think this palette is real. Is proposing something. I mean, it's not that we haven't seen these colors before, but just the way that it's laid out, I think it's really, really pretty. Another thing that just came out today um, at Trend Mood is this Huda Beauty Rust Boss Face Long Lasting. Okay, so it's a setting spray with an ultra matte finish. So I love Huda Beauty. This is the thing. I really like. The line of Huda Beauty, um, whatever she puts out, I'm kind of like, oh, super excited about it because I had good luck with her eyeshadows. I like the Huda Beauty um, foundation. For being a matte foundation, it looks good on me. Uh, it doesn't make me look dry, and I really like it. But um, this extra whole spray, it looks like a, you know, like a spray for your hair. It's mattifying. It is ultra matte. I don't like anything that will make too matte my uh, my face because I have normal certain areas are it's kind of like a combination certain areas are normal areas in my face and then I have some dry patches on my skin and I just have sensitive skin and I don't want anything that is too mattifying so anyhow it will be coming soon on May they doesn't say the name and it's called Resting Boss Face, and it's a waterproof product. Um, so I'm happy that she's coming out with this. I hope that she comes up with also a glowing version or like maybe a radiant version of this, um, something along those lines so we can have a little bit of like a choice between let's go for matte or let's go for radiant. Hopefully it makes sense. 
Um, now the spray, the nozzle, it looks kind of like the Morphe package. So it's an aerosol kind of um, a spray, which it will give you like a fine mist, that's for sure. So I will be interested to see what other people have to say. But personally, I will not buy it right away as see lunches because it's modifying and I'm not looking for anything that modifies my skin. So there's some exciting news here. Um, Kim Kardashian and Makeup by Mario, they are doing a second version. So they are collabing for a second time. Um, it, they just show a picture together, you know, like he's doing the makeup and stuff like that. Um, are we going to see a new gloss? Maybe it's going to be a new gloss. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's an eyeshadow palette, honestly, or something different, something for the face because it seems like Kim Kardashian and Kylie, they are just so focused on lip, pro um, on lip products and I want to see something else from them, something new and exciting. So let's see, um, it just says that it's coming soon, so they just kind of like put that little bit of like, here you go, we're working on a round two, KKW Beauty times Mario. So I'm excited to see what they come up. Now going into the sister of Kim, Kylie Jenner, she's coming with Kylie Skin. All right, so these are the news right here. So it's official, new skincare by Kylie Cosmetics. So it's gonna be called Kylie Skin, that's the brand. Now it says here, skincare and makeup go hand by hand and Kylie Skin was something I dream up uh, soon after Kylie Cosmetics. I have been working on these for what feels like a lifetime. So I cannot believe I'm finally announcing building my makeup line from the ground up has taught me a lot and I'm so blessed with the knowledge to apply to my brand new company. Birthing a whole new team, manufacturing, fulfilling, etc. Separate from my cosmetics line separate from my cosmetics line was challenging, but here we are. I got the best of the best for you guys. Everything is cruelty free, vegan, gluten free, paraben free, and sulfate free. And suitable for all skin types. And the release date is gonna be May 22nd. On the pictures it shows Kylie skin. It, um, there's a little tube of something, but nothing else. Okay, my friends, so it seems like we know now what Kylie's skin is coming with. Um, there's going to be a face scrub, which I'm not interested in, a uh, face foaming wash, which uh, also is nothing of my interest. There's going to be a vitamin C. The package looks opaque. Uh, I would love to see the details about this vitamin C and ingredients as well as the pump. And there's going to be a toner and uh, i actually would love to see the ingredients for the toner it doesn't say anything about the ingredients and then there's going to be a moisturizer mm, that i may pass on unless it's something that it really cuts my attention already so now we are up to date on kylie skin and uh, sneak peeks are gonna come soon so let's i don't know let's see what she's proposing moisturizer serums um you know some glycolic acid who knows but this will be interesting to see what she comes up with now bcr is coming with two eyeshadow palettes the warm edit and the rosé edit each of them they are gonna cost 39 dollars and they all include 12 shades so i think that's a great pricing and it will be available on may 12 at 10 a.m at beautylish and a bcr website um they look actually very very pretty um I honestly haven't tried BCR eyeshadows and I only heard great things about them. Now, these pants are smaller, maybe a little bit bigger than the little eyeshadows that they just came out like maybe three weeks ago, a month ago. So I think I will be interesting maybe to get in these two. I don't know, like the colors, I have seen them. So they are not like, wow, they are like so attractive. They are so different. I really don't know. I, I want to try VCR palettes, but neither of these, none of these two palettes really are getting like a lot of my attention. I'm like, I'm not in love with them. So I think I may pass on it. I don't know. I will give it a thought. It's, it's a maybe, maybe. 
Okay, so let's see. Next is by Fenty Beauty. So Fenty, Fenty Beauty has it available actually right now. And it's a line of Pro Kiss Art. So there's lip balms, uh, scrap stick. Now the lip balm is $18. Uh, that's kind of high up there. And it comes in a little tube. Then it has the scrap stick for $16. Um, they also have um, eyeliners in little trios that are limited edition and there are three sets um, with uh, neon effects and each of them are $35. Um, then there's a juicy satin lipstick in seven bowl lip colors which is $20 each. Okay so these they look a little bit more festival and I mean not that it's not festival season right now we're still in festival season but none of them really caught my attention. A little bit maybe the orange lipstick is kind of like, kind of fun, it's kind of something different for me. Um, but nothing, I don't know. I don't, I mean, I don't think anything of this line, like the eyeliners, the scrub, I don't know. I just don't think anything of these are something that I will be interested in picking up. Um, they are fun, definitely they are fun for a younger audience. I mean, I'm on my late 30s right now, so not that there, there's an age for these things. They look pretty, but I don't think it's a fit for me. Now, another thing it is that um, these eyeliners, they come in little sets, and I wish she could have come out with these separate, each individually and not sets. And that way people can pick and choose whichever ones they really want. I think because these are limited edition eyeliners, you know, they just want to sell the batch and that's it. But, uh, yeah, I'm not interested. I will definitely skip over these. They are pretty, but not for me. Now, Too Faced is coming with a new mascara. It's called Dumb Girl. Um, Dumb Girl. <laughs> <laughs> and this mascara is 97% full volume, intense black lashes, long wearing results, and long lasting curls. So it's supposed to curl your lashes too. But now this mascara will be available on June 6th online at Sephora and it will be exclusive to face for a month. Okay, another mascara. Uh, maybe I will try it in the long run. I have a lot of mascaras right now, so it's not that I need a mascara. So I think I may just wait and try the mascara at another time and see what other people have to say. But it's nothing that I'm like, I'm gonna rush for it. Another item right here. This is another item by Huda Beauty. This is available now. And it's the Tantour um, by Huda. And it's to sculpt your face, body, blendable, workout proof, sweat proof, water resistant, contouring bronzer cream formula. Uh, it's $30 and it comes in shades fair, light, medium, tan, and rich. So five shades. And um, also you can buy a sculpt and shade brush for $28. Will be available May 17th in stores, but you can buy it right now online at Sephora. And actually I'm very interested about these cream products. I actually am enjoying cream products a little bit more right now, more than powder. So I think it will be really nice to get these um, cream contour product. I really appreciate the fact that she came out with different shades. The one with the says for fairer skin tones, it looks a little bit too deep though. So I will say maybe she could have come out maybe with seven different shades or at least six different shades. I think she needed a lighter tone or two lighter tones. At least one lighter tone than the fair one um, but I guess when you try you will see but she went also to a very deep 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 tone which um, you know that actually it's talking about inclusivity and just catering for different skin tones but I will say maybe the fair one she should have come out with one that it was a little bit lighter than that. But let, let's let see. Let's see what people have to say. Um, the fair is a neutral honey shade. And then the light one is a soft caramel shade. Uh, I think I may end up getting either the fair or the light one. Um, but I'm interested about this product. I, I really want to pick it up. And 
The price, it doesn't seem too bad, $30. I don't think it's too bad. I, I mean, I have seen other products that they have been like super expensive. So I think it's this is a good good price for these products. I'm, I'm excited. There's another item that I'm planning to pick up. The influencer Christine Dominique is coming out with another item. And this time she has come out with only eyeshadow palettes, and, well, lipsticks too, and lip glosses. Um, so right now this is her first face palette and it's actually a glow palette. So it's called Prisma Glow and it comes with four highlighters. One is a balm cream, kind of like for the base. And then three of them are three different shades. One looks a little bit more gold. Another one looks a little bit champagne, but with a sheaf of coral. And then one looks like an icy pink. Um, so they look actually very very pretty and it's available now the package though seems a little bit too big for the product um it's honestly giving me a little bit of fenty vibe type of packaging outside but inside there's a lot of like a space that is not being used so um i think the packaging may not be the best i'm sure this is hard to you know put all together but the packaging seems a little bit bulky but I'm planning to get it. I really love Christine Dominique. I love Dominique Cosmetics. I love her latte palette, the lemonade palette although there was some formulation of the lemonade palette wasn't there. It's a really good palette. I really like it and then I love I love her Burry's palette too. So I'm planning to get this palette by Christine Dominique and it's $36. Again, it's available right now. Okay, this is a very pretty palette. Um, this is um, this palette is by Give Me Glow Cosmetics and it's called the Juicy Olive Palette and it's coming up on June 1st at 10 a.m. It's going to be available at their website and it includes six shades, four mattes and two foils, all greens. I think this is really pretty. The cost is $30. I really, really like it. Um, the swatches look very impressive to be honest with you. I have the Huda Beauty Emerald Palette and this looks a little bit different than that. It doesn't look too similar to um, Just My Lab by Colourpop. Um, now $30 is a little bit pricey to be honest and I haven't tried this brand so I'm interested. It's about $5 per shadow. It's not a bad price. Um, you know, if you buy single shadows from Colourpop, it's about the same price. I don't know, let me know if you have tried this brand before, if you think it's a good brand, because I'm maybe interested to pick it up. I don't know, I'm not I'm not 100% sure. I think it's very pretty, so I may end up picking it up. Because I just, I just feel it's really, really pretty. Again, June 1st is coming out. Comes with a little mirror, which I really appreciate that. Now, Marc Jacobs is coming out with Juice Quake. And it's actually available now at Marc Jacobs Beauty. It's a skincare product. It's a hydrofull retexturizing gel cream. And it has a combination of moisturizing, retexturizing, uh, formulated with 54% enzymatic pineapple. Pineapple, it's all in trend. Um, just like Glow Recipe, they do have something with pineapple. Here we go, something again with pineapple. Um, I think there's that Elemis collagen thing too that have pineapple in it. Anyhow, um, so this will give you an instant glow for lasting hydration for up for 24 hours. It has hyaluronic acid too, um, dragon fruit extracts, antioxidants it's gonna cost $59 <clears throat> and it can be used as a primer so it's really pricey for skincare I tend to do not switch a lot of my skincare to be honest with you I, I have to really give it a try or get a sample before I commit to something like this I think it's interesting uh, but it's nothing that I will run and buy it right away it's a gel cream so maybe it's lightweight which will be good for summertime so i think if it comes to sephora i will get a little sample and just give it a try um that way and take it from there but um it's nothing that i will go and run and buy it right now natasha denone is coming with tan bronze and glow palette it's an extension from the bloom blush 
and highlighting palette inspired by diamond and blush natasha denona ultimate glasses skin go-to includes four new shades one cream and three powders um i'm gonna pick it up it's gonna be uh 55 dollars is a permanent item which is great and it will be available may 17th now there was a little bit of a thing i was expecting it to be out i think during the sephora sale i actually i think i even waited until midnight <laughs> to pick it up but um she decided not to release it that day i mean i'm not one of those persons that is like oh because you change your mind or because you don't want to be part of a sale i'm gonna punish you and not buy from you no i mean i like the palette so i'm gonna pick it up no matter what but I don't know if it was because she didn't want to run the product through the sale or maybe it was just not ready to launch yet. I mean, it would have been really nice that she put it out during the Sephora BAB sale. She would have gotten so many sales right away. It would have been sold out right away. I don't know. I just I just feel that that was a little bit... Well, I wish she could have done maybe a little small explanation about it, but she didn't. Uh, again... I'm still interested, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up on May 17th. I know there has been a pre-sale for it, um, but items there were not cheap, uh, and I don't know when they will be cheap from the pre-sale. So I will be just buying it directly from the Sephora website and kind of like take it from there. Another item that sparks my curiosity, it's um, available now, is this Farsali Hydration Bay. It's a new product, it's a two-in-one daily face mask that contains high bubbles, a patented technology that encapsulates active ingredients. These have hyaluronic acid, tamarind, that boosts firmness and elasticity, hibiscus to plum and tones the skin, retails for $62. Again, I'm really interested about this product, to be honest with you. Um, it's available now at farsali.com, but I will really like to get a little sample from Sephora and try it that way before committing to the full package. But I think it's something fairly interesting, something new. Farsali always comes with these kind of like Instagram-y type of a style uh, products, but they are products that I actually work and they are nice products. So I am interested on that. And the same line uh, going with Natasha Denona, she reveals some new swatches of four new limited edition metallic liquid lipsticks and it's, they are launching also on May 17. The shades are Metallica, Copper Gill, Achromatic and Cyber Cherry. The cyber cherry kind of like gets my attention right there and then the lightest shade. I like to wear shimmer, matte, um, creamy. I like all lipstick products. So I may pick one up of these. The regular ones are $25. So there may be a same kind of like along those lines. I'm interested to try the formulation. A new release from Too Faced and it's called, it's a highlighter palette in neapolitan ice cream scent and it's called the triple scoop there are three highlighters i think they are very cute <laughs> to be honest with you they're they're cute one is kind of like like a very light um uh, not too champagne uh, kind of champagne color then a pink highlighter and then a rose gold yeah i don't need another highlighter um but it's coming soon, it's coming soon at Too Faced, but it may be something that I may end up picking up or not. Um, I think it looks cute and I am wondering how is that Neapolitan scent. Um, that would be nice to see. A new product from Pat McGrath and that's a secret bottle. So that means she's coming with either foundation or primer. It comes in two different uh, containers. So it may be a foundation and a primer or maybe she will come up also with a concealer. But for Pat McGrath and here for it says coming soon, we don't know when, but I will be keeping my eyes like peel, checking when she's dropping these items because I love Pat McGrath. Eyeshadows, lipsticks, I just absolutely love them. So I think I'm 100% gonna pick them up whenever she decides to drop them. And I thought that was the last thing, but here we go. Another sneak peek coming soon. Fenty Beauty is coming with new gloss bomb shades. And they seem to be a lot of them, um, unless, you know, there are just a few. But here on the picture, uh, it seems that she tweeted it. 
and I'm excited about that because I really like her lip gloss, the gloss bomb formula. I hope she come up, she comes up with more Asana lips. Those are my favorite lipsticks. Um, they are just so good. But she's coming with other items. So, well, my friends, I think this is the wrap for this video. Let me know what you're planning to pick up for these new beauty products. Uh, they are so many. It's like a never-ending story. But um, they are fun and exciting. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you here. Follow me on Instagram. Leave your comments down below. Until the next time, you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.